guys, welcome back to the RC Store. My name's Ammo. Today on the desk, guys, we have the Mini Beast. This is the Armor Outcast 4S V2.5. Now, if you haven't seen the previous video to this, guys, it was our first run. What a car. I'll put a link to that just up here in the corner. Be sure to check that video out, guys. This thing is absolutely wild. Now, you guys know I love my Outcast. I wanted a 4S version and I brought the 4S V2.5. I scouted the whole of the UK to find one. I couldn't find one anywhere. All I could find was the V2s. So guys, I reached out to Appliance Electronics and they had the V2.5 in stock. It was the only place I could find one that was reasonably priced and they had one in stock. This thing is absolutely unreal. Now, those of you that don't know the main differences between this and the V2, be sure to check out the unboxing video on this and I'll go through all the differences between the two cars. One of the main ones being this has got a centre diff. Now I brought this as a pure basher. I wanted something that can mimic the Outcast 8S EXP RTR and I thought this was it. So it's the mini version, it's a composite chassis. It's a bit more tolerant. You do them bad landings, a bit more forgiving compared to the 8S EXP RTR, one bad landing and it's game over and it costs you a minimum of £100 and it can be an expensive day out. So this is what I brought this. We're going to go out, we're going to hit a GPS speed run with this guys. Now in the last video we did a GPS speed run on grass and this pulled I believe it was about 38 mile an hour. So we're going to do a GPS speed run on tarmac. Let's see what it pulls and straight after that we're going to go on a track and then take this to a skate park and see what it's like. Can it pull off a backflip? Can it do the hand time in the air and twists, etc.? I don't know, but we're about to find out. Let's get into this. Guys, we're here on location with the Armour Outcast 4S. So I found a nice day today. It has been raining with floods. Now the day looks actually quite nice. Uh, the sun's shining. I've come up with the Outcast. I'm gonna go straight into a GPS speed run on tarmac to see what we can achieve before we go for some track action and hit the skate park. I want to see what you can achieve on a GPS speed run on tarmac. So as you know, we've got about 39 mile an hour out of it on grass. So I've set that on track. Press start on that. Make sure it's working. All working. So we, like I said, we've got 39 mile an hour out on grass. Let's see what we can achieve. Clear road. Straight into it. Wheeling away like a monster that it is. What a car, guys. I love the Outcast. All right, on the way back, full throttle pinned. Whoa, bit wavy there. Pull it back round. Let's go for another go. Whoa. How crazy is that, guys? Pinned. The road does curve a bit, guys, hence the car's going one way. One more run, let's go for it. Whoa, on the grass, okay, didn't quite do it. Spin it around and let's see what we pull. What a beast, guys. This car is absolutely epic, one of my favorites. All right, stop the GPS. Let's read. 48 mile an hour guys, 48 mile an hour, that's quite impressive for a stunt truck, absolutely happy with that, I believe it got about 38, um, I think it was 38 or 39 mile an hour on the grass, but now we've just pulled 48, let's get into some track action along with the skate park. Right guys, I'm here on location with the Outcast and I've brought it to a field and a track and we're going to hit the skate park as well. So this is the field. This jump here is quite good for backflips. The 8S Outcast has performed fantastic over them. Let's see if the 4S can live up to its name. We've got the bit of a track around here. I'll go around the berms and then we'll hit the skate park. So guys, let's get into this. We'll start off with the track first. Now I'm expecting good things from this. So coming around the berms. Whoa, epic. Nice. So much control. Whoa. 
one wheel up in the air. Fantastic. What a car, guys. Let's see if we can do some jumps. Coming in for its first jump. Nice. Was going to go for a backflip. But I didn't know if I had quite enough speed. Executed perfectly. Whoa. Oh, insane. Coming back round. Whoa. Wheeling away. Right, let's go over towards the skate park. It's got excellent air control. Let's try that again. Let's see if I can backflip off this little jump here and give it a twist. Whoa, done it. Did land nose first, but it done it. What a beast. Here we go. Double and landed it. Insane. Double. Nice. The shock's bottomed out and it's having a nap. Couple of jumps on the track. Wheeling over them, no issues. Nice, and landed it. <laughs> That's how it's done. What is there not to like about this car? Does it so effortlessly. Whoa! <laughs> that was user error. I tapped on the brakes. Coming in for a few more jumps. Whoa! Well, I think the battery's on its way out, guys. The punch just ain't there. I have got another pack, let me swap it over. So a quick battery change. That's definitely got some punch. Standing backflips. <laughs> nice air control. Wheeling down the field. As you can see, it's splatting water up absolutely everywhere. We have had loads of floods here in the UK. Nevertheless, whoa, look at it go. It's so wild, this is. Wilding out. Whoa, some ballooning on them front tires, guys. But it doesn't half move. Whoa, bunny hop there. Oh, I'm surprised them tyres didn't explode there. Standing backflip. <laughs> oh, guys, trying to keep this thing straight is something else. Let's flip her back around. Guys, if you want a true little basher, well, I wouldn't even say little, it is quite big, but it's small compared to the bigger version. If you want a nice, decent basher that you can beat around, have plenty of fun with it like this, Guys, check out the Armour Outcast V2.5. So this is the 2.5 edition. It does have a centre diff. There's a few other subtle differences as well. Guys, if you want to know where you can get one of these from, I'll put a link in the description. Also, across the bottom of the screen, it's applianceelectronics.co.uk. I did scout the UK for one of these, and everyone seems to have the V2 and not the V2.5 for some reason. Whoa! This thing's crazy. So much fun. Just look at it go. <laughs> what a crazy car. You could have hours of fun with this. I've been out most of the morning, guys. Just literally having a blast and not getting bored. Let's get her back. Nice.
This is absolutely fantastic. What a little weapon. Yes, I do need to do a bit of tuning on this. As you've seen, this thing wheelies like crazy. And when it's up there, them front tyres balloon like there's no tomorrow. I'm actually surprised they ain't burst, to be fair. But yeah, this thing's absolutely wild. Now, yes, it did execute a double backflip and landed. I was quite impressed with that. Being a small 4S rig, it did that really, really well. However, one thing that did disappoint me, and you guys might not like this, but if you remember on the channel, we had a JLB Speed, which I've still got. It's just over there. Now, that JLB Speed, I always ran on 3S. And the moment I put that on 4S, guys, that thing did standing backflips. It did off that same ramp. It did four or five backflips and landed. That car is insane. However, I wanted to mimic the Outcast 8S and I basically picked this up. So far, I'm happy with it. I'm not disappointed. It's a great car. The only downside that I've noticed that I would have liked it to do was a bit more hang time in the air and then twists and turns. They, I know you can do it with these, but they're a little bit harder to get right. However, exceptional car. If you're out there looking for a basher and you just want yourself a cheap basher, that's, well, well I won't say cheap, but a mid-priced basher, that's good. Parts are available. Guys, check out the Outcast 4S V2.5. I'll put a link in the description of where you can get it from. I'll put the website of Appliance Electronics at the bottom across here. Be sure to scout their website, check them out, see what you guys think. Loads of parts in stock. They've probably got the widest and largest Vitavon parts you can physically get. Um, they've got pretty much everything Vitavon in stock. Um, I was quite amazed when I checked out their store. If you haven't seen that video, check out their store tour video, guys. That's on the channel as well. Wow. The Outcast 4S V2.5. Fantastic little machine absolutely love it guys if you haven't already please feel free to like share and subscribe don't forget to smash that notification button and we'll see you in the next one thank you for watching